is Gretchen Quarterman, G-R-E-T-T-H-E-N-Q-U-A-R-T-E-R-M-A-N. Um, I'm here on behalf of the Laos County Democratic Party. The Laos County Democratic Party voted on Saturday to oppose the Sable Trail methane pipeline for the Columbus County. <coughs> Georgia Democrats believe that we have a moral obligation to leave our children and grandchildren and earth safe and beautiful and as majestic as the one bequeathed to us by our parents and grandparents. The Sable Trail pipeline proposed to move liquid natural gas from fracking sites in Flo to Florida. Fracking is a known polluting technique leaving behind undrinkable water and un unusable earth. Florida is a sunshine state and could generate any needed electricity from less expensive and more environmentally friendly renewable sources of solar and wind. Tonight I heard that there's going to be 13,000 acres on the pipeline. 13,000 acres of solar could make a lot of electricity. Georgia Democrats believe in and uphold every citizen's rights to equal and impartial justice under the law. The taking of private property by a private company is a property rights issue. Putting corporations above citizens is not equal, nor is it impartial. Long County property owners have a right to say who can and cannot use their property. And the liquid natural pipe, gas pipeline that benefits no Georgians the, uh, there are safety concerns and maintenance issues um, which have resulted in explosions, fires, and death. The safety of Long County citizens should be a top priority of our local, state, and federal government. The Long County Democratic Party rejects the necessity and appropriateness of this application. Particulars that we, when the county party made the statement that they considered were the Florida technical, the, the aquifer is where people from middle Georgia all through Florida drink our water. If we drill underneath the Wipikuchi River, there's a possibility that the river will flow directly into the aquifer. That happens north of Valdosta where the river flows into the aquifer. That could happen if you drill under the river. It's an environmentally sensitive area. The pipeline is proposed to go across aquifer recharge zones. That's where we get our drinking water. We really must protect the drinking water of Georgians and Georgians. I don't know if you've noticed lately, but there are a lot of sinkholes. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> you know, like the vacation road fell in a sinkhole and uh, the uh, fire truck in Atlanta got sucked up by a sinkhole yesterday. Um, so their sinkholes are a real problem. Um, you can't just say, well, we're going to make this and it's going to be stable, stable and it'll never fall into a sinkhole. It's going to fall into a sinkhole. It, it's a problem. Um, and a gentleman just in the back said, you know, if you cut down a tree and it's 300 years old, it's not going to come back in 300 years. And that's not right to leave a, a, our earth with trees about 300 years old for our children and grandchildren. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am.